All right, guys and gals, welcome to round one, game 15 of the Tiny Wars Open Tournament. I am Advanced Warrior. And I'm CJ. And, to and today's game is Sarastro on Will as player one versus Fluffy on Isabella as player two. So, Will, very common pick on this map uh, for... I guess for other CEOs that's already been banned, Will is a pretty good pick here. Uh, CEO zone of two uh, gives plus 30% offense to all land direct vehicles um, and plus 10% for all units. All other non land vehicles and also indirect vehicles just get the 10% usual CEO zone stuff. Uh, Will's power is that he uh, gives all of his land ind land direct units plus uh, two movement. And this also includes mechs, spikes, infantries. It's also really good for tanks and other vehicles. And they also get that global CO zone. So they will all hit hard with 30% offense and have that nice little 10% defense. Yep. And on the other side, we have Fluffy playing as Isabella. Isabella is not seen very often, but it's not because she's bad, it's because she's, she's too banned. good. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is probably the most commonly banned CO in the game. Um, and, good for, and for good reason. Um, her day-to-day -day is 20-20, so 20 attack, 20 defense to all units in a zone of 2. And um, her CO power is that all units gain plus two movement, and all indirect units gain plus two range. So it's the best of gauge and will at the same time, basically. <laughs> um, I mean, her her overall like direct attack is a little bit less, but just a little bit. Like basically, yeah, she basically takes takes the best of both direct and indirect specialists, and uh, that versatility and also the way that her charge is not super difficult uh, makes her easily one of the best CEOs in the game. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, I don't know how they thought they were balancing uh, Isabella, but it's like, you know, Will gives plus 30 offense to all direct units, and Gage gives plus 30 offense to indirect units, but she's trading that 10% uh, from the 30 and like adding it on to her defense, which, uh, which is still pretty freaking good. Like she, nothing is lost, just losing 10% from that attack power. Isabella is just very, very flexible. A uh, slightly small CO zone, doesn't get anywhere in the 30s when it comes to the CO zone buffs, but it's still everything Isabella needs to be one of the best CO's in the game. Yep. So it looks like right now we just got very standard bike openings and infantry openings coming from both Sarastro and Fluffy here. And Fluffy has a tank out, uh, didn't put Isabella in that tank yet. So, um, hmm. I usually like going Isabella tank, but can you see Isabella being put in any other uh, vehicles? Um, I feel like Isabella is a pretty standard CO. Like, in, you know, she's an all around CO, and so you probably would want to put her in a tank. I do believe, uh, if I remember correctly, when I looked at like the post-match kind of debrief between the players, I think Fluffy may have forgotten to put their CO in the tank, which might explain why it is not in that tank. I've seen that happen before. Um, yeah, that is a very common mistake for you know beginner Newer beginning players. players to make, and it's it's just a shame because you know that they have like potential oh, yes. um but yeah sometimes sometimes you just make that kind of mistake it's kind of a blunder especially if you do it uh a couple turns in a row um but i guess sarah strode doesn't have uh his co out either so maybe it's fine um but yeah like we're seeing all these you know mid-range uh, cost units, you know the B copters, the the tanks. You know these are your your bread and butter, yeah, bread and butter. Um, and yeah, you usually would see CO in the tank. I mean, at this point, I guess you can do CO mid tank, uh, medium tank. Mm, um, not a huge not, fan of that one. I'm not either, but when you've waited this long, you might as well. Yeah. Um, Is yeah, Isabella's. Um... Her zone is like slightly smaller, like, like it's funny how Isabella is just like all about the twos, like, you know, the highest points for 
uh, some of the other CLs in this game. Like Brenner has a defense of 30%, uh, also has a CL zone of 3. Benny's also got a CL zone of 3. Will 30% offense, Gage a 30% offense with indirect. So it's kind of funny how Isabella is just like slightly behind it. But uh, like I said, you know, it still makes her good. And um, uh, one thing I did want to say from all this was that her zone is a little bit smaller, but it has a nice defense boost with it. So uh, Isabella tank is definitely one of my most uh, comfortable units to put her in. Yeah, so right here at the bottom left corner, um, Sarastro would actually have a really good... I mean, uh, uh, Fl uh, Fluffy would have a really good attack here if they had their CO here, because then all of those bikes are like, you know, harvestable energy. They have, uh, does the battlecopter reach there? Uh, one, uh, two, I'm not three, sure, four, but that five, other six. Does. I, I think it does reach the tank. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it'll, yeah, reach, so, it'll reach that tank. So, yeah, that would have been a perfect time to have a CO over there. You would be able to capitalize on the you know, hitting the tank, you would bring in your other tank, you would have the B-copter to back it up without the AA there. Although, it is, you know, very possible that Sarastro would have changed um, his strategy if he knew that, you know, a CO was over there. Um, so far, though, uh, Fluffy still has not gotten, this, uh, gotten Isabella out, which is the best part of the army. Um, <laughs> So it's kind of a shame, uh, but Sarah Shiro has kind of done what we talked about a little bit. You know, at this state, uh, at this kind of late stage in the game, you might as well just go for a medium tank. Um, usually, you want it out. You want your CO out early in a relatively defendable uh, unit, which is why you go with with a tank. Um, if uh, if uh, you know, if you don't have any. What else the heck on. am I looking at? Oh. Uh, anti-tank anti -tank kinda... Isabella that's uh ooh, um the movement is not the best part of an anti-tank yeah that's that's probably why eh, that's definitely one of the big reasons why it's niche it's not a great uh it's it's pretty slow um again you want your COs out really fast and you also your, want your them COs... on mobile units Yes, your COs are basically the most important part of your army. They're like your queen in chess, right? And if you don't have them out, you're missing out on an extremely powerful unit, um, an extremely threatening unit. Because even if the the CO unit itself is not that strong, the threat of getting CO energy, the threat of CO buffs, like day-to-day -day buffs, and the threat of a CO power can be huge and can you know make your opponent think a lot um right now though right now though um because the co is in an anti-tank it's gonna be pretty slow it's also pretty late so we're not gonna see it doesn't seem like uh to sarah shro this is too big of a deal like he's gonna be able to deal with the anti-tank just fine um i kind of like what fluffy just not, did very fast yeah i kind of uh, like what oh, fluffy just through. did with the uh with the suicide inventory and then the other infantry could just pass the river interrupts that cap uh the anti-tank is close but it's an indirect unit so it's not going to just immediately uh immediately attack once it moves up that's uh another tricky thing with the anti-tank uh I, I can't remember if it's as slow or it's a little slower than an artillery um uh, well, I think it might be five, five or four move, but it's on wheels, which are, which sucks. So uh, okay. I think it's wheels. I think it's tires B, which is the same movement as a bike. Maybe it's four movement tire B. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't quite remember. Um, but yeah, it importantly, it's just not that fast. Also, uh, Fluffy has taken a very long time to get some anti air. Um, uh, yeah, I was just about to say, it's like three copters. Uh, Battlecopters, unfortunately, cannot attack dusters. Yeah, and um, I mean, anti-air can attack B-copters. I mean, anti-tanks, uh, oddly enough, can attack B-copters. But, um, I mean, they do do good damage, but like, yeah, you, you the anti-air is so good because it is extremely mobile. Um, 
And, I mean, I guess Fluffy was try trying to just go for, you know, if I have enough <coughs> B-copters, then they'll just take out any other B-copters, any other enemy B-copters, but, you know, there's the Duster, so there's that. Uh. Um, but, yeah, things are not looking good, because Sarah Shrove just has a, hu a pretty huge income advantage at this point. I think that's probably plus one, two, three, I'm thinking, so... So 6k income advantage, if I am estimating correctly. Um, so, yeah, this is, like, uh, Fluffy has done a decent job at not, you know, getting overly aggressive, but uh, that's about it. They don't have a lot of play because Serastro is just kind of creeping in just much more money. It's also starting uh, to feel like that the absence of uh, of, a, of a CO zone from uh, Fluffy here is also what's um, giving Serastro a slight little uh, edge here, because uh, there's nothing that's like too threatening, like plus 20% offensive defense is really, really good, and um, which is what Isabella is. Uh, Isabella is just good in like a lot of parts. Uh, her zone is good and her powers are good. Uh, so just the fact that the zone came super late and it just ends up being on the slow unit uh, is really starting to hurt Fluffy because it's not there to be a threat. It's, right now it's just sitting around. Uh, earlier the anti-tank couldn't even protect the infantry that was like like kind of like an L shape away just a little bit and those were like free hits for Serastro there and Serastro already has like 6 charge. I uh, can't really see what Fluffy has right now, but uh, I doubt it's m maybe a little bit because it looks like it attacked it's, the infantry. It, I think probably eight or something. Probably yeah, eight, but, um, tank, but but yeah, it's like it, there, it's it's it could have been a little higher, but the absence of the CO zone earlier is just starting to hurt Fluffy just a bit. Yeah, at this point in the game, it's negligible. It's not gonna come into play unless. Like Sarastro wonders a lot, but Sarastro is quite a good player. Uh, there's, I, 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 I would be extremely surprised uh, if he blundered this game. Um, like this is just a very easy position for him to convert at this point. Is Sarastro baiting the bomber? Um, you mean by baiting the fighter? Uh, yeah, baiting the fighter by using the bomber as bait. Uh, probably. Like, he, he can kind of do whatever. He has such a big income advantage. Um, and also, he got, like, a lot of good hits. Like, uh, there were just a lot of, like, pretty free, uh, B-copters down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. He was able to just pick up. So, Alright, all right. so yeah, um, you were right. It was, uh, it was 8, and now it just went into 13 to, through 5 damage. Alright, now we're seeing a little bit better coverage from, uh, from Fluffy here with that anti-tank. Um... Giving, giving each of those units just a defense, but um, I don't think Serastro would want to attack into that anyways. Like, they're already sitting a bit comfortable with the, the income lead here. Yeah, I think Serastro got a little bit more aggressive than necessary uh, at the bottom. Um, kind of overextended a bit, but I don't think that's, you know, game losing. He, um, he just I won think, a property, I think. Yeah, I think probably that was just to win a property. Um, he has enough stuff in the area, kind of, uh, to at least uh, make it so the counter push that Fluffy has would not result in anything. I don't think Fluffy is going to be able to get anything here. Yeah, it's uh, it's not at the... Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to word this. He's like, you know, he's won the property and now he's just kind of holding back. Like, he's won the property, he's pulled back just a little bit, but it's still close enough to, like, punish... Uh, punish Fluffy for trying to recapture that property because there's just like so many units in range of that city and now Fluffy's pulling back on the top side uh looks like it's starting to feel a bit overwhelmed um probably going to lose that property uh the other properties uh, below Serastro CO unit there uh that three line of properties a lot harder to get than that one that's up there but um Knowing Serastro, a good player, probably is going to recognize that those other properties just a little bit harder to get. Probably might just focus on the one closest to him on the right side. Yeah, and again, he doesn't even have to do anything at this point. Uh, he could just wait and just build up more income, build up more units. I, I feel like right now, um, 
his bottom is a little bit weak. Um, but uh, still has enough to really deny um, any big moves, as I feel. Um, oh, doesn't shows... go for the anti-air, but um, I oh. guess is willing to trade enough. Yeah, I guess. Oh man, uh, anti-tanks. Getting enough compensation. For oh that, yes. So. And, and anti-tanks, yeah, that... they're so weak to foot soldiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, surprisingly they will just crumble to those. So. Um, if you were ever wondering, how do I get, how do I deal with these pesky anti-tanks? Because throwing more tanks does not work. Um, yeah, infantry, uh, bikes, especially mechs, but mechs are kind of slow, so it's going to be pretty hard. But bikes, for sure, hmm. are going to do it for you. Alright, um, so looks like uh, Pluffy's kind of moving in here. Putting a bit of pressure yeah. on the bottom here. Uh, and Let's see if uh, Sarastro can like break through this death ball here and like try to get that anti tank. It's going to be very tough because uh, plus twenty percent defense is kind of nice. And yeah, if nothing uh, breaks through, then that anti tank has a lot of targets that it would like to shoot. But uh, maybe it would might be a bad thing if you overwhelm the anti tank with uh, multiple targets. That if it just stays and shoots one, the other targets can just stay and kill. Unless Fluffy is able to maintain that little death ball there. But we'll see how Sarastro responds to this. Looks like he is going to get that property on that right side in front of uh, Fluffy's CO units. And yeah, we're, we're, you can really start to see uh, what, what happens when you like put your CO unit in a sort of a niche unit. That is the uh, anti-tank can attack uh, the same turn it moves. Uh, it's also a little bit slow. And all right, so let's see what Sarah Shore does. You know, just gets rid of the duster with the attack boost. Uh, not much. Looks like he's just gonna stand near the death ball and not be in anti-tank range. Yeah, as long as he doesn't go become overly exposed, like I think he's actually just fine. Oh yeah. Um, some of these turns look pretty scary for either player sometimes, but then you like actually just watch it. And, oh wow, that was a resign. Uh, yeah. Uh, it actually isn't that bad. But yeah, Fluffy did resign there, seeing as they did not have enough play. Um, Ten income five behind. Properties. Yeah, five, five, uh, or, well, I guess ten properties. Just ten, ten behind. income behind. Unit, unit yeah. difference wasn't that huge, but, uh, yeah, you know, there's like a rocket and bombers. Oh yeah, that's, uh. That's interesting to see. Oh, I, I just realized I never gave you a mouse control. Um, it's okay, whatever. Alright, so um, uh, about this game. So Fluffy obviously had good fundamentals of this game. Like down here, saw a very nice infantry wall. Uh, just, um, you know, balling up, trying to defend like some of the properties they could. Uh, so it was clear that Fluffy is a uh, experienced in probably the Advance Wars trilogy, but maybe not this one. Uh, this right here, anti-tank CO unit, I, I wouldn't even put this on gauge, um, personally. Uh, it's just, uh, how much movement they got? Uh, they got like, yeah, they have like oh, four cool. movement, tire B. Oh, I, yeah, okay, so one less than bikes, same movement type. Yeah. Uh, there's no artillery, so I can't compare it to an artillery, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there were no artillery in this game. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I would have rather at least see an artillery from an Isabella army than an anti-tank. But yeah, uh, it's just that it was a poor CO, CO unit choice. Um, slow, doesn't attack the same turn it moves, and uh, yeah, it's easy to avoid um, this tank, uh, this uh, anti-tank. With a tank, more mobile, more versatile, you can get that CO zone out there and a lot closer to your power. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I yeah. don't really have anything else to say about Fluffy. Uh, positives, good fundamentals, negatives, uh, bad CO unit choice. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's a pretty good summary of that. Um, yeah, I think it's just, yeah, I mean, kind of going further into, like, CO usage, like, you want your CO basically to be a pain in the butt <laughs> of, <laughs> of your, your opponent, right? You want your opponent to always be thinking about how do I deal with this? Because you know they should be a threat they should uh be in their face uh should be you know constantly uh 
basically threatening to get energy, and especially with Isabella. Isabella's, you know, CO power is super strong. A lot of CO powers in this game uh, can be categorized as kind of uh, game winning, I feel. Um, Some, because yeah. having a global buff to all your units is pretty good uh, when, you know, by default, it's lacking in that. Um, so, or by default, you know, this game doesn't have day-to-day -day buffs on all units, right? So, um, using your zone properly and also getting energy is, you know, the main way you're going to be a pain in the butt. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, and in order to gain that energy, you, you got to have mobility um, and you have to protect your CO. Um, Anti-tank, you know, it's a very small, it, it's a very unlikely problem for you to face. Um, having to, having, have, it's, it's very unlikely for you to have trouble protecting your CO, sure, but, um, having it be threatening is a different problem, or, you know, a different question, I guess. Um, and, yeah, anti-tank just wouldn't, wouldn't be it. Also, um, if you get it out too slow, then that's also another strike against you. Um, yeah. But there's a lot of room for improvement, for sure. As you said, uh, Fluffy does have pretty good fundamentals, so I look forward to kind of seeing more of their games if they stay around, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have. All right, so Sarastro moves on to round two. Guys and gals, thank you so much for watching uh, game 15. We are very close to wrapping up uh, the first round before we move on to uh, round two. Uh, hope you guys are sticking around. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to catch more of these games that uh, are premiering on this channel. Um, right, until next time, I am Advanced Warrior. And I'm CJ. And you all have our warmest regards. Please take care. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.